So I'm gonna show you what it really takes on the back end to make the ads work. And this is what you need to do before running any ads. I'm gonna show you how I think about Facebook ads and what are the things that I do that nobody else talks about. Because when I go online, I see a lot of those YouTube business gurus, YouTube Facebook ads gurus, and almost like everybody of them is like, if you wanna get amazing results, click here, blah, blah, blah. But then you go into your, into your Facebook ads manager, you do the same thing, and things don't work out the way you want them to work out. This is what we're building today. We're gonna have three campaigns total. We're gonna have a code campaign. The first code campaign will be Advantage Plus campaign. The second code campaign will be Interest campaign. We're gonna target. The so I'm gonna give you a real raw unfiltered video about what it really takes to get your Facebook ads to convert. I'm going directly to code traffic. The next thing, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna test this campaign against Advantage Shopping, 11K profit. However, if things slightly change, if the traffic cost becomes from $1 per click, if I get it, if it's it's like much more expensive, so now, it's be now it becomes two doors, you're gonna see what's gonna happen. Facebook is pushing Advantage Plus campaigns a lot but for my products and services and for my funnels uh, and for my funnels ops uh, i'm getting better results with a very major mistake people make when setting up facebook ads okay welcome to this video i guess today i'll be setting up facebook ads i'm gonna show you what i do in my facebook ads campaigns I'm gonna show you what I do with a new Facebook ads campaign. So it's gonna be like a Facebook ads tutorial style video. I'm gonna show you every little click I take. I'm gonna show you how I think about Facebook ads and what are the things that I do that nobody else talks about. Because when I go online, I see a lot of those YouTube business gurus, YouTube Facebook ads gurus, and almost like everybody of them is like, if you want to get amazing results, click here, blah, blah, blah. But then you go into your, into your Facebook ads manager, you do the same thing and things don't work out the way you want them to work out. That's why in this video, I'm going to show you something different. I'm going to show you a process that I have never, ever seen somebody else uh, talks about because I'm pretty mad. You can see that I'm pretty mad at the Facebook uh, ads gurus on, on YouTube. So I'm gonna give you a real raw unfiltered video about what it really takes to get your Facebook ads to convert. And I'm gonna start from scratch. I'm gonna start from the strategy. We're gonna do a traffic simulation. I'm gonna show you the funnel. I'm gonna show you the exact steps people need to take. I'm gonna show strategies to make uh, people buy. So you're gonna get the whole process from click to client with Facebook ads because I'm somebody who um, I probably spent like more than $10 million um, on Facebook ads. So if your ad spent is like under like $1 million on ads, I'm pretty sure that you don't know what you're doing. So I urge you to watch this video uh, to the very end. The way I usually start my videos, I make myself a cup of coffee. Um, and yeah, I got my cup of coffee right now. It's almost ready, yo. Oh, God damn it. It's almost ready. So yeah, this will be uh, the video for the topic of the video uh, for today. As you can see, let me share my camera. Let me make my camera darker. I have my cup of coffee here, right? I have my laptop right here a few days ago. Man, I was so busy, I had to get me one of those. So as you can see, it's a beautiful sunny day. Uh, my work area is a little bit messy. I had sushi a few days ago, but this doesn't really matter. So without any more fluff, I'm gonna get you to build a successful Facebook ads campaign. And we're gonna start with the strategy behind the whole thing. 
this is what we're building today. We're gonna have three campaigns total. We're gonna have a code campaign. The first code campaign will be Advantage Plus campaign. The second code campaign will be Interest campaign. We're gonna target different interests. And for each of those campaigns, for example, for the Advantage Plus campaign, I'm gonna have six different ads. So six different ads for this campaign. And I'm going to run the same campaigns against the interest campaign. So again, here I'm going to have six ads. The ads will be exactly the same. So we have exactly the same ads uh, when it comes to the code campaign and when it comes to the code interest campaign. The main difference here, I want to test which one will work better. Will, will I get better results with Advantage Plus or will I get better results with interest? And this will be something that... Uh, I, I want to test because Facebook is pushing Advantage Plus campaigns a lot, but for my products and services and for my funnels uh, and for my funnels, oops, uh, I'm getting better results with the interest campaign. And this is something that is just the reality for me. I know a lot of people say test Advantage Plus, but my experience interests um, convert much, much better. So when it comes to the Advantage Plus campaign, there is not much um, to say. I'm just going to target Advantage Plus. I'm going to target some countries and I'm going to have uh, six sets. Uh, when it comes to the interest uh, campaign, I'm going to target ten, maybe five to ten different interests. So everything in the ad set will be uh, pretty much the same. The only difference will be... Uh, the interest. For example, for my niche, I'm going to target people who are interested, let's say, in internet marketing. I'm going to target people who are interested in, let's say, social media marketing. I'm going to target people who are interested in, let's say, Infusionsoft or MailChimp or whatever. But uh, with this campaign, uh, I try, I'm aiming to get uh, sales. So uh, the ads will be optimized for sales. At the very end of the day, I want to make money with this um, campaign and when it comes to the interest campaign uh, that's gonna be it exactly the same ads and then I'm gonna do a remarketing campaigns and with the remarketing campaign it's gonna be very simple maybe like uh, one or two ad sets targeting website visitors social media visitors and people who are visiting specific steps um, of my funnel again I think I'll, I'll do like uh, maybe like four to five ads so here I'm gonna have um, again pretty much the same ads I think I have uh, ads from specifically for warm traffic to remarket to people who are visiting uh, my stuff already so yeah uh, pretty much this is what we're trying to set up um, right now and again I'm gonna do something different I'm gonna show the funnel I'm using Now let's do it like this. Let's do it like this. So uh, we have a very simple sales funnel. We have a sales page and the sales page sells product for like 197. So the first product is 197. Uh, people can get an order bump for 47. So this is another page order bump. It's pretty much in the same checkout. And once people get um, one of those or both of those, the first or the second or both of the products I sell the people to a page where I sell a 97 product so pretty much this is it extremely extremely uh, simple funnel um, and I'm gonna use Facebook ads to send traffic to the sales page here on the sales page I have a like a sequence so once people go to the page if they leave their name and email it's kind of like a two-step checkout I get their, their their emails and I upsell them and I bring them back to the sell to the sales page. And pretty much this is the core of the funnel. Uh, right now I'm gonna show you what's gonna happen, what needs to happen in order for us to make this funnel profitable, right? Because we wanna make money. This is why you're watching this video. You want to make money and I'm going to show like a very important step that nobody else is showing on, on the YouTube videos but I'm, I'm pretty sure that these gurus are doing this so the next thing we're going to do we're going to do a traffic simulation 
So I'm gonna show you what it really takes on the back end to make the ads work. And this is what you need to do before running any ads. I'm gonna show you how I do it with a tool called Gero or Gero or I'm not sure how it's pronounced. But without this, your ads just won't work out because your strategy will be all messed up. So here I drew the funnel. What is Giru? Giru gives us like a traffic simulation scenario. So I'm gonna just show you real quick how it works. It's better if I show than explain. So as I said, this is the funnel I'm using. I'm running the traffic to a $197 uh, product. I have a order bump at 47. And let's say 20% of the people will take my order bump, right? So I'm gonna save this. The upsell product I have is a 97 coaching. And let's say on average is between 15 to 25%. I believe 20 will be a very good starting point. So this will be like my default conversion rate. So this will be my default conversion rate on the funnel. And for me, in order to be profitable, I'm gonna say that my sales page will convert at 1%. 1% is the industry standard for a product that is that high. Maybe if you have a product that is like under $20, you might get it higher. But here usually I use somewhere between one or two per percent sales conversion rate. I know there are people who say that they can get you the conversion rate at like 10, 15%, but this is just insane in my opinion. Maybe if you sell like a super high ticket product that will happen, but it's like very, very, very rare. Okay, and so the way I'm gonna drive traffic uh, to this funnel, uh, I'm gonna use uh, Facebook ads. And here I can say how much I'm paying for click. Let's say the cost per click for this funnel will be one door. And this is something that you need to be fully aware of. Maybe once you run the Facebook ads for a little bit, you're gonna know how much is the average cost per click. Usually I start with like one, two, two to three doors. So one for my niche specifically, is like very, very optimistic. So I'm gonna show you if I have 1% conversion rate on my low ticket offer. And if I have $1 cost per click on Facebook ads, I'm gonna show you how much money am I making or how much money am I losing with this funnel. So let's say I'm gonna buy 10,000 clicks. I'm gonna spend $10,000. And here you can see that I'm gonna bring $22,000 back. So it, if I manage to keep this, the funnel will be profitable, right? The funnel will be profitable. If we, if we assume that people will click at $1 per click and people will buy at 1%. So if this happens, I'll be like, wow, I'm just like investing $1 in ads and I'm bringing pretty much $1 and 20 cents uh, back. So the return on my ad spend will be 2.26. Uh, and here in the program, I also added my merchant fees, uh, my product costs, my refunds, I, I set to zero, although it's usually five to 10%. So the profit, I'm gonna make 11K profit. However, if things slightly change, if the traffic cost becomes from one dollar per click if i get it if it's it's like much more expensive so now it's big now it becomes two doors you're gonna see what's gonna happen so for me one dollar cost per click yeah so basically uh i'm gonna break even i'm gonna break even pretty much i'll be at a slight profit of like two thousand but once you add, let's say my software costs my let's say if i have a few refunds here and there I'll be like breaking even uh, with this funnel. So there is a very twin, like very like uh, thin line between being successful with Facebook ads and being not successful. And here let's do another simulation. Let's say the cost per click will be three dollars, which is something that happens in my niche. I had ads that delivered like three dollars cost per click. So I'm gonna run the simulation again. And here you can see I'm losing money. So ideally, what can I do here? On the Facebook front end, I can invest in like better creative and better targeting. My 
front end on my conversion rate i can invest into like improving let's say my sales conversion rate so here if i get it at two percent which is extremely high again i won't lie to you this is like a very high uh, conversion rate for like 200 dollar product and here if i say if i keep the cost per click uh, at two dollars i'll still be profitable i'll i'll still um, be making money but this is the reality of facebook ads so if you go to to this stage right if you go to this stage uh if you're spending money on ads and if you know your metrics if you know okay the cost per click cannot go more than like a few dollars right so my cost per click is between one and two dollars it's gonna be extremely extremely it's gonna be ex some somebody is calling me Yeah, so it's gonna be extremely difficult for me to get to go from like let's say one dollar per click to like 50 cent that makes pretty much no sense for like most of you you can do it if you do like extremely viral ad um you can do it in a maybe like a niche mark not not a niche but like a mass market so there is nothing much you can do it's gonna be very difficult to cut the cost per click with like a hundred or like two hundred percent. I don't say it's impossible, but I say it's much easier to tweak your funnel. So before running any ads, run those numbers. Run those numbers. You don't have to do it in like in those like fancy guru tool. You can go to like uh, some AI tool. Let's say I'm gonna to go to Bart, and I'm gonna just I'm gonna do the simulation. I'm gonna say. Can you do a traffic simulation, blah, 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 and you're gonna figure out the prompt. But before, but if you are not running a traffic simulation right now, if you don't know your numbers, if you, know your, if you don't know your cost per click, if you don't know your conversion rate, just follow the next step of the tutorial where I'll be going and setting up the ads. But once you set the ads, once you have like data for like a few weeks, once you know the cost per click, once you know the front end conversion rate, the back end conversion rate, the order bump conversion rate, the upsell downsell conversion rate, then then you're gonna figure out why your ads are not working. Because if this is like your first time running ads for like a new product or a new funnel, this is what to, this is what you need to figure out. We have two elements here. We have traffic, sending traffic, and we have conversion, right? So both of those. Uh, puzzles kind of like need to fit in order for us to make the whole thing work. Okay, the next thing of this uh, tutorial will be to send you to... Okay, the next part of this tutorial will be to go to like Facebook Ads Business Manager. A very major mistake people make when setting up Facebook Ads, they start completely from scratch, which is wrong. When you set a new campaign, why, what you need to know is what was working, what was working for you, what was the targeting, what was the creative, what were the placement that delivered the best results for you. So in May, I run this campaign. Uh, it delivered 15 sales. The cost per sales was close to $130. So for me, this is like extremely, extremely good because I'm getting a lot of leads. I'm getting a lot of sales and I also have a high ticket one-on-one -on -one coaching on the back end. So if I can manage to keep this cost the way it is, um, I'll crush it. Uh, and I also did some optimizations on my funnel and I believe my conversion rate and my average order value will be slightly higher. So I'll be able to spend more money on ads. So what was working for me, I was targeting, uh, I did a campaign, I target a lot of like interests and the interests that deliver results for me were small business owners and advertising marketing agencies. So if I click on edit, um, if I scroll, you'll see that I'm, that I'm targeting like Australia, New Zealand, Europe, North America. I'm targeting all those countries. I'm spending uh, 150 per day. I think I had a cost cap as well. And so the bid control is 180. So I'm telling Facebook, don't spend more than 180. And here, 
what I did with the targeting. I'm just targeting Instagram, right? I'm just targeting Instagram. And I did this because there was a lot of like, the algorithm was broken and nobody could get any results. And so for me, this one was profitable, but I had to pause it because life happened to me. I have a, a baby, right? A newborn. So it just, my life, my life got crazy all of a sudden. But those are, but this is what I did to make this funnel profitable. And if I show you the ad, so here I tested like five different ads and pretty much this was the ad that got the best results. So this was the only ad that get me, that got me sales. Although the other ads couldn't get a lot of exposure. So it's called, it's called how to actually run Facebook ads in 2024. So yeah, this is the first thing that you need to do before doing any Facebook ads work. You just need to figure out what was working for you, what was working. And if you want to see how I made the ads that I'm going to set right now, how I created the ad copy and the videos and the images, you can go to go watch, I think my previous video, it's called how to create Facebook ads that convert or something like that. So go here and w go on my channel. You're going to figure it out and watch it. Okay. So I know what's working. I know the best ad. So what I'm going to do, I rarely start a new campaign from scratch. What I do is like, I usually duplicate. So I'm going to duplicate this campaign and Facebook will say duplicate with three recommended adjustments, but I'm going to say, no, I'm just going to do my own thing. I'm going to click duplicate. I'm going to make sure that show existing reaction comments and shares on new ads. Uh, and I'm going to click duplicate. And here I showed you earlier that we're going to set an interest based campaign. I'm going to click publish. It's going to take a little while for Facebook to copy and paste all my ads, all my ad sets. And here I'm going to show you how I set interest campaigns. So this will be, it's taking some time. Usually the Facebook ads platform, some is slow somehow. I'm also recording my screen, so I'm not sure um, why it's taking so long. But when you do Facebook ads, we need to be patient. I've waited like, I don't know, like maybe like five to 10 minutes for this uh, to get published. But once it gets published, we're going to easily edit it. Uh, and I'm going to show you how we can do it. Okay, Facebook ads pretty much did it. It says review and publish, but I think it's done. So I'm going to refresh this page. That's the name of my campaign. It's called copy. So I'm just going to rename it and I'm going to give it the name. So it's June. I'm going to say June. Okay, I'm just going to end when I'm going to go to inside um, the campaign. I won't turn, turn it on right now. I'm just going to build it. I'm going to delete everything that was not working for me. So I'm going to select the ad sets that were not working for me. I'm going to click delete. It's going to ask me to confirm the number. Uh, I'm going to press enter. Then I'm going to go on ad level and I'm going to leave only the ad that performed well for me, right? So I have small business owners. I have advertising agency. Now I just have one ad in each. Uh, but I'm going to start building the ad sets. Uh, and I already created uh, some ads and I'm going to show you um, how I do it. Let me click refresh again. So yeah, the campaign is off. That's fine. So I'm going to open advertising agency and I'm going to click duplicate and I'm going to duplicate with current settings and I'm going to create four more variations or maybe five. Let's do five variation. And right now for me to speed up my setup speed, I'm just gonna kind of like just edit each one of those ads. I'm gonna enable the ad preview and the only thing I'm gonna change in my next ad and I'm gonna give this ad a different name. So this is the URL. The button will stay pretty much the same. I'm going to do add media, add video, and I already created some videos, so I'm going to upload them. Uh, I'm going to go to video content, Facebook ads, new, and I have 
two new ads. So I'm gonna click on open. I'm gonna wait for it to to load, and we're gonna start. We're gonna start running ads. So it's pretty quick. My internet is like loading speed. I live in Bulgaria, so one of the best things about Bulgaria, I think we have like one of the highest internet internet speed uh, in the whole world. So it's like very, very good for like Facebook ads because it saves you so much time. If my internet was like twice or three times slower, I will wait three times longer for every like little video to load. So Facebook ad, Facebook is processing the videos. I'm gonna wait. Okay, so my videos are uploaded already. Um, I'm gonna click next. I have the first video. I'm gonna play it for you. How, How to land, land high ticket clients even when nothing else seems to work. Here's the problem. Imagine your niche is kind of like fishing in a crowded ocean. Everyone throws big nets. So pretty much that's the ad. It's kind of like a podcast reel. So I'm gonna click next. Here I'm gonna do the original stuff. I'm gonna click next. When it comes to optimize, I turn off all the optimizations. I'm gonna click done. And here I have a copy. I have another copy and I'm gonna show you how it works. I'm just gonna copy this. It's super simple. It's pretty much the same exact stuff I say in the video. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna paste it. I, I lost it. Okay. How to land high ticket clients even when nothing else seems to work. Here's the problem. Imagine your niche as fishing in a crowded ocean. So here I'm gonna rename it. How to actually high ticket clients. How to actually get high ticket clients in 2024. I think I made a mistake. Don't do it like this. And pretty much I think it looks good. It's just like a podcast clip. A lot of when people start scroll scrolling, they're gonna think it's a podcast. It won't look like a net uh, that much. So it's gonna change all of my ads, website URL. So I'm gonna just click publish. And I made the edits on, on all of the ads. So I'm gonna close this and I'm gonna select just one of the ads and I'm gonna rename it to ad number one, podcast style video is the name of this. So I'm gonna review website URL. So I'm not sure what, what is that. I usually don't use the AI feature. I, I'm, I'm very old school when it comes to Facebook ads. So yeah, I'm sending people to this page, by the way. It's my targeting academy. Ready to get clients on demand once and for all. This new ad strategy gets me and sells so people will visit this page. But let's go to this and podcast style video is done. I'm gonna click publish. Then I'm gonna create the next ad. Usually when I create the ads, I create the ads in a very slow way because I wanna make sure each ad is approved before I create the next one. So here I'm gonna click on edit. I'm just gonna delete my my previous video. I'm gonna cl click add and let's see. I'm gonna click next. To people who wanna get high ticket clients once and for all. So this is just like without without any sound, without any effects, just me talking like what if there were podcast like super simple. I'm gonna click next. So let me get another copy. So this is the copy. To people who wanna get high ticket clients once and for all, I'm gonna copy it. Optimization, I'm gonna turn off all the optimization. I'm gonna click done. So I'm just gonna leave it like this. Pretty much I say the same thing I say in my I 
I say in the video, right? It's pretty much the same script. I follow nothing, nothing too crazy. Website URL. I'm gonna connect it here. I think it looks good. What I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna rename it. I'm gonna say podcast style video 2. And I'm gonna click publish. So I have two out of out of many actually. Let me refresh the page. It's still those are still in review. So I'm gonna get the next ad and I'm gonna do three podcast style video. And here the only thing I'll change. I'm gonna change the copy. So no, I'm gonna grab. I'm gonna grab the same copy. Mm. So here I'm gonna start like this. Wow, giants like Owen skirt, Sabri Subi. Build empires with ads, the game has changed. So I think it's a good hook. It's kind of like a gossipy because a lot of people care about the gurus. It's kind of like gossip in the niche. I'm gonna copy the link. I'm gonna paste it. And I'm gonna delete the media. I'm gonna add video. And here this will be the ad to people who want to get high ticket clients once and for all what if there was a way to reach only those who are ready to buy your high ticket programs or services well people like sam ovens frank kern sabri subi alex becker alex hormozzi built empires running ads i have to say the game has changed it's a fact that in 2024 at target so yeah it's just like pretty much the same ad the same style but it, it's like a viral podcast short I'm using a, some viral music, so I'm not sure if it's gonna work out. I'm gonna click done. And so the, the copy, the headline, let me see. I'm just gonna, how to actually get high ticket clients in 2024. I'm gonna name it to get high ticket clients once and for all and I'm just gonna say 2024 edition so I think it's pretty good looks pretty good I'm happy with this set I'm gonna click publish so one two three and here the last one I have, I'm gonna click edit. I'm gonna do number four. And here I'm gonna do image and video. The copy will be the same. I'm gonna copy it. Um, And I'm gonna do it like this. What if there was a way to reach who are ready to buy your high ticket? It looks good on Instagram. So here I'm just gonna copy the copy the URL and I'm gonna paste it. Right. The next thing I have to do would be to paste the URL here. And here, how to reach, that's gonna be the copy. How to reach. How to reach only those who are ready to buy your high ticket. Okay. So this will be the text. I'm gonna delete it. I'm gonna delete the media. 
And here from single image or video, I'm gonna select Caruso. And here I'm gonna add a card. And first card will be an image card. And the image we're gonna do, I'm gonna do this image. Bulgarian discovers a new way to land high ticket clients once and for all. It looks like news, something that appears on the news. So I'm gonna download it and I'm gonna upload it to my, I'm not sure if I managed to, oh yeah, right now I got it. I'm gonna upload it. Let me see, downloads, should be in downloads. Yeah, this is it. This is the post short headline. The short headline will be a new way to reach only those who are ready to buy. In short description, I'm gonna say, well, Jan's like, the game has changed. So this will be the ad preview. And I'm gonna build the Caruso. I'm gonna add another card. I'm gonna add Vito. And this is the Vito I'm gonna add. And I'm gonna edit this card as well. Write short descriptions. Here it will be the headline. I'm gonna use a different headline. I found a better way to attract those high, high ticket clients everyone chases. So this will be the headline. Although in Caruso, I don't think it will matter that much. So And here, I'm just gonna find another headline. Uh, yeah, my computer is slow because I'm recording my screen at the same time. And yeah, this will be the ad. When, when people go, they're gonna see this image and then they can browse, scroll again to uh, see the video. So image and video are uh, pretty, pretty simple. And here I'm just gonna keep the same the way this. And this is how I set the interest campaign. Uh, I'm gonna do this for each ad. So let me refresh, let me see if those ads got approved. Let me see if I have an email. Okay, so basically you saw what I did. I added like all the ads into like one campaign. And right now what I'm doing, I'm just like all the ads into one set I mean. And right now what I'm doing, I'm adding all the ad sets. So I'm just like duplicating. So as you can see, if I open each campaign, each ad set will have like the same ads, but just the different targeting. Uh, so how I do it, I just like duplicate the ad set, duplicate with current settings, I click continue, I click duplicate into the existing campaign. So uh, original campaign, I do duplicate. And once I duplicate, the only thing I do, I scroll down to uh, interests. I click the detail targeting. And here I'm gonna change it to advertising campaign. And I'm gonna copy it and I'm gonna paste it. So I'm gonna do publish. Pretty much, this is how I duplicate. And earlier in this video, I, sh I said that I'm gonna do maybe like five to 10 interests. So here I have six interests. So this is my interest campaign. Targeting code traffic. The campaigns is optimized for purchases. Uh, the bidding strategy, uh, I'm using bit control $130, so I use BitCap. It works better for my purposes. The daily budget is $200 per ad set, but usually this uh, budget will only get spent if I'm bidding less than $130 per purchase. I think this is like a really smart way to spend less money on ads. So here the whole budget for this campaign is $1,200. Uh, and this will be my code campaign. I'm going directly to code traffic. 
the next thing what I'm gonna do I'm gonna test this campaign against advantage shopping and I think there was a really easy way to do it so if I click duplicate and if I do duplicate as an advantage shopping campaign let's see what's gonna happen I think it should work out and yeah this is the advantage shopping campaign I'm not sure why I have uh, different ad sets uh, let me take a look so I'm gonna do next here I'm gonna keep everything the way it is supposed to be also it's because of the location so I'm gonna go to the location I think it's like I cannot target Russia for some reason and here I'm just gonna delete I'm just gonna leave one ad set because this is advantage shopping plus so the idea here is to do to let Facebook do the work instead of us instead of doing the targeting uh, Facebook will do the whole thing instead of us the daily budget here I'm gonna set it to 200 highest volume maybe I'm gonna do cost per go and the cost per go will be at 100 I'm gonna set it here so looks good here I'm gonna do next and here the cost per go is gonna be 100 um, here I think I have for Russia that's why I get this error so I removed Russia pretty much nothing I can do on the audience languages I'm just gonna leave it the way it is I'm gonna click next so I already resolved that uh, it should be good to go and this is how I set the code campaigns uh, and pretty much this is the same thing uh, I'm gonna do with the um, warm campaigns uh, and I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna set up those in a second but very simple very very simple okay so I got my code ads ready I have a campaign advantage plus so this is like the automatic stuff recommended by Facebook and I'm split testing this against the targeting academy code traffic interest campaign so here in this campaign I have six interests and the other one is just the advantage plus targeting recommended by Facebook uh, pretty much the same location pretty much the same ads everything is just exactly the same let's see which campaign will deliver better results I'm using similar uh, campaign settings when it comes to bit cap versus cost per result uh, I'm gonna split test uh, these campaigns uh, the one thing I got left to do would be to set a warm campaign before setting my ads live um, what I like doing could be to just test my funnel again I want to see how my funnel is working I want to see if my checkout page is working I want to see if I have some mistakes I, I want to do a new test payment because I did a lot of changes on my funnel but this is the reality in this video probably I won't show you how to just set the warm audience campaign but the way I'll do it I'll just duplicate the uh, code interest campaign and I'm just gonna switch the targeting to custom audiences I'm gonna target people who visited my funnel page and people who are engaging with my social media and my website and I'm gonna do probably 30 days remarketing 30 maybe to like 60 90 something along those lines yeah so this was the video for today this is how I usually set my Facebook ads I know the process is very different of what other people show but this is the process I'm using for like years right now and this is like the exact behind the scene process so yeah thank you for watching make sure you watch all my videos in order just kidding just kidding yeah I'll talk to you soon bye